<clears throat> story is the last block. And um, in the end, the one that I'm actually most interested in. Because story is the intellectual block. And as I alluded to earlier, the vast majority of you are, are terrified of, of your own personal intelligence. And you all, I mean, we all think we're stupid, and we all think that we're lesser. And you're, you're not. I also, uh, this is going to throw a lot of you, and this is a good art of being stuff, this is not actually for this book, but um, there are some things that I deeply, profoundly, deeply do not believe in. I do not believe in talent, I think that's a sham, I think it's really stupid. I also don't think, I don't believe in intelligence. I think everybody's intelligent. I believe in ignorance, and I believe in self-defeated refusal to be intelligent, and I believe in people shutting down their lights or other people shutting down their lights so that they no longer have the skill set to, to show their talent. But I don't, I don't believe in talent. Talent's a sham. You're all equally talented, and I get over it and start working. Because if you rely on your talent, you're lazy, and if you don't feel like you have talent, you're always going to self-sabotage. So stop playing with talent. When they're like, okay, bring in the talent, I'm like, hey, hey! Bring in the skill, please. <laughs> if I worked hard, but be able to do what I do. Skill. It's work. It's discipline. It's craft. Uh, you're a professional. For all of you in the room, have to have a PhD. PhD. Passion, humility, and discipline. If you don't have passion, humility, and discipline, and you don't have all three, then you're not a professional. Because drop any one, and you're no longer a pro. If you have the, the discipline, and you have the humility, but you have no passion, you're not going to make it. You're boring. You, you gotta find your passion. If you have the passion and the humility, but you have no discipline, then you're lazy and you won't do your work and you're unskilled. If you have passion and the discipline, but no humility, then you're gonna make the work about yourself, your work will be self-indulgent, you're no longer a pro. <laughs> so, full immersion in your story, the amount of work that needs to be done, intense. And then, what does it mean? Honor it, and then focus, get her done. Those are the three pillars of acting. You went to the Miser School, you did two years at the Neighbor Playhouse, arguably one of the best schools in the world. You've done one-third of your education. You've been through classes in psychology and emotional classes, and you've, been, you've exposed your heart, you've found your own essence and your source of who you are and your insecurities, and you've been through therapy, and you've really got a sense of who you are and you're self-actualized. You're still only two-thirds of the way. You've intellectually discovered what it means to be a story and analyst. You have memorized Robert McKee's story. And you've, you've read Sid Field, you've tried your hand at writing a screenplay and probably failed because it's brutal. Um, you have uh, studied as much as you can about structure and the structure of life. You understand this, and I'll, I'll be teaching it all. Um, <coughs> then, now, now you have the skill set to start to apply your learning and try to figure out how to be an actor. Once you do all of that, and you're all, you've done all this intense, disciplined, preparatory work, you then have earned the right to stand up in front of somebody and then let shit happen. But you have to have this rigor of discipline. The vast majority of actors don't do their process, so by the time they get to the, 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 the job at hand, they, have, they are under, under ready, they're under prepared, so then they have to fake shit in order to get through. Do not rely on your instincts, rely on your intelligence, your emotionality, and your focus, and prep your instrument up and get everything going so that the, here's, here's, here, here's one way to look at it, ready? Just know, be kind to yourselves, but know, assume, that you're a terrible actor. Be terrible. God, I fucking suck at acting. Be terrible. I never know. I don't know choices. I don't want to make those, and, and I don't understand really blocking and continuity, and I'm a terrible actor. So I better work my ass off to figure out what the story is so I can actually fulfill the story moments and the actions, and then I better get emotionalized, and I better teach myself how to be really focused so that when it comes to the acting, I don't have to do anything. And then you'll be fucking sublime. Because the actors that you love are not great actors in the sense of 19th century acting. They're really good preparers. And then they surrender to the moment. And it's, it, I'm talking about Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow, <laughs> Mer Meryl Streep as Miranda in Devil Wears Prada. Um, these fully realized, beautiful, incarnate kind of characterizations, it's all accident. It's all created accident. Ready? Art is the... Um, constructed, orchestrated accident. Acting is the spontaneous accident that occurs because you have created all the orchestration behind it for it to happen in the first place. When you watch um, Leonard Bernstein and the Vienna Philharmonic, they're playing Beethoven the way it was written and they have rehearsed their fucking asses. Like, you know they've rehearsed it. Imagine it. The symphony comes out and Bernstein's like, oh, so what is this one? Mahler? Beethoven? Have you heard it? I haven't. Let's try it. <laughs> you wouldn't pay money for it. You're coming to see something that's been prepared. And they've prepared their arses off. And they're amazing. 
But then from the first note, they surrender to it. And that night with Bernstein and the Vienna Philharmonic is only that night. It's ephemeral. It's that one moment. And that was it. And it can only be done that way because of that night. So the accident of that performance only occurs because they've done so much fucking work to get there. That's what you guys do. But actors tend to go, you're the kind of actor who's like, what am I, flute, violin, oboe? Fuck it. I'm just going to tap spoons. To come out and go, what a genre is this? Ah, fuck it doesn't matter. I'm going to find it in the moment. I read it once and I had it. I'm holding it. I'm saving it for my take. Boom! You're going to suck. And if you don't suck, you're going to be creating shit. And then, and then it's like, it's all going to be falsified. And it, any resemblance to the story that you've come up with is going to be entirely coincidental. You know? So have the humility to say, this story is beyond me. And have the discipline to say, I'm going to do all the work I have to do. But then have the passion to be who you are and bring that into the work. So that work can then become something much greater than the sum of those very, very simplistic parts. And then the complexity of humanity will, will evidence itself. And then you may affect change in this world. But if, you, if you're worrying about being good, and come up with something interesting and making a good choice on camera, you know, you got a nice career as a one-line background person on Starville or Smallgate. <laughs>